Hello and welcome to another episode. A couple of weeks ago, someone called Bev Birch, who some of you may know from the Kia EV3 UK uh, users or owners forum, um, posted in the public area on, on discussions on, on my comments um, where you can post your own posts, but I don't always see the notifications. So I saw this about a few days after it was put up and Bev wrote this. There's been a discussion recently on the Facebook group about percentage loss from the traction battery whilst the EV3 is standing without being driven. My GT Line S seems to lose about 1% in 24 hours and I can see from my 12 volt battery monitor, which is the same one I've got, that the traction batteries are charging the 12 volt battery once every 24 hours. Is this normal or not? Is this something you could cover in your videos? Well, I'd say it's not normal. I think I answered this. Um, but my difficulty of doing um, leaving the car standing doing nothing is, is it's not often that it is not plugged in. So I said, when I go away on holiday in a few weeks, which is know, two or three weeks away, um, I'll monitor my battery uh, levels then and the 12 volt battery and, and see the way it behaves. Because I'm either charging, which charges the 12 volt battery, I'm driving, which charges the 12 volt battery, or I'm using vehicle to load, which charges the 12 volt battery. So obviously I'm using vehicle to load every night and a little bit in the morning and that's a top up time for the 12 volt battery. So I will never see the vehicle in the 12 volt monitor topping up the 12 volt battery. I'll only ever see it once it's been plugged in doing other things. So I'd, I'd need to leave the car doing nothing for a day or two to, to get a view. Anyway, that was my answer. So Basically, I couldn't do anything for now, but I'd have a look in a few weeks. But meanwhile, on Monday, Bev replied on the EV3 UK owners Facebook group. Uh, this is a bit of a follow up to post to the problems. I previously posted about my GT Line S frequently charging the 12 watt battery. Basically, I have a 12 watt battery monitor in the car and it was showing the car was charging several times a day, which seemed excessive. I fear the 12 volt was faulty. I'm aware that the car has a battery monitoring system. Well, it does, and it has a top-up system as well. I spoke to the dealer who had never heard of the problem. Then Friday afternoon, I had a brainwave. I have the digital key enabled on my phone for remote opening when my iPhone is in the area. My car is in an, an integral gar garage, and my phone is normally in the kitchen at the back of the house. It's a biggish house, so, so it was a good distance away. After the digital key pr proximity feature was switched off, so I can only open it with, with my phone if I press an indent on the door. The car stopped frequently charging the 12 volt battery. So it appears that the car was perhaps searching for the digital key. Incidentally, keys are in the Faraday box, so it's not them causing the problem. These are the graphs from before and after the digital key feature was switched off. This of course would explain why my traction batteries were losing 1% in about 24 hours. Just thought this might be of interest to others. So um, I've double checked with Bev that I could use her graphs and, and this posts and she's okayed it. Now I put on screen my typical overnight 12 watt battery usage and you can see it's just a curve going slightly down. It doesn't charge, but that's because um, I'm doing a vehicle to load session before it normally. And then you've got the two graphs. You've got what, what uh, Bev has been having, which is the the blip, which is the charging in the middle of the night, and then what she's got now, which is a smooth line slightly going down, which is what I would say is normal. So I think this is caused by the ultra wideband feature of iPhones and the car. Um, this used to happen on the EV9 when it first came out. I remember posts on Reddit of somebody having a drained 12 volt battery from this. This was before they put some measures in place Kia had to stop the 12 volt battery being drained by it, i.e. doing some more monitoring and pushing more juice into the 12 volt battery. So this, in this case, I think is what's caused it. There are other cases where you can have um, loss of state of charge every night. Uh, one is where the car will not switch off for some reason, it won't go to sleep. I've not quite got to the bottom of that. I've never had that. And the other one can be caused by um, a phantom drain in the car from such a thing as the wiring in the seat looms. If you've got powered seats, uh, sometimes they develop a short because they're live all the time. So 
those are your typical things. Anyway, I'm glad she's got to the bottom of it. Well done, Bev. <laughs> it saved me having to go there, but um, probably problem was I, I don't have a phone that supports digital keys. So I probably wouldn't have found it. Anyway, I hope you find this useful and it uh, clears up the mystery for anybody else who's got it. So um, you best disable the ultra wideband and proximity on your iPhone if you or just get it out of range of the car. So it's uh, the problem is it's keeping the car active and the head unit active. And as I showed you in the uh, air filter video, I found the CCNC computer and it gets very hot if it's left on, even if you're just charging or you're doing vehicle to load. The same would occur with the ultra wideband. So that would cause your drain. Anyway, thank you for watching.